Hi there, my name is Jazz and we are going to spend some time praying together now. If we think back on that story that we heard, King Nebuchadnezzar wrote about everything that happened to him in a letter. That's because he wanted everyone to know how God had been working in his life. And he had a very strange time, didn't he? Some very bad times and then some very good times again. And you know that happens to us too. We have good times and bad times in our lives. Good days and bad days. Even if we're following Jesus, that doesn't mean bad things will never happen. It means that we can be sure that Jesus will be with us every step of the way. So we're going to do some praying now and we're going to be thanking Jesus for the good things and then we're going to be praying for some of the more difficult things. And when I say Amen, you do a nice big loud Amen too because that means I agree and it's showing God that you agree with the prayers that I've just said. So we're going to start off thanking God for some good things. So have a think now about the best thing that happened to you this week. It doesn't have to be anything very special. It could just be a time that you really enjoyed or something that you really liked. Say it out loud now, the best thing that happened to you this week. And now say, thank you, Jesus. I'm saying thank you Jesus for the beautiful spring weather we've been having this week. It really cheers me up and it gives me hope that summer's on the way. Let's say thank you to Jesus for some other things now. Lord Jesus, we thank you for our families. We thank you for the people we live with who look after us and keep us safe. Thank you Jesus. We thank you for our homes and our toys and our clothes and the food that we eat. We thank you that in this country we are so blessed and we have so much. Thank you, Jesus. And Lord Jesus, we thank you that in this country we have good medicine and doctors to look after us. We thank you that we have schools and teachers who help us learn. And we thank you that we are allowed to be Christians in this country, that nobody tries to put us in prison because we follow you. We thank you for all of that, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Now we're going to think about some of the bad things. Why don't you think about something that upsets you or something that scares you? or something that you're worried about. Say it out loud now. Well done. Let's pray about those. Lord Jesus, we thank you that you are with us, even when we are scared or worried or lonely or upset. We pray that you will be with us as we deal with these things. Help us to lean on you to trust you. Help us to feel you very close when we are upset or scared. Thank you that you never leave us. Amen. And lastly, we're going to say some prayers for people who might need God's help this week. If you know somebody who really needs God's help or maybe needs God's healing this week, Say their name out loud now. Lord Jesus, we thank you that you know every single one of us. You know all those people whose names we've just said. Will you be close to them, help them to be strong and brave, make them better where they need healing? Thank you, Jesus. Amen. And let's pray also now for people who might need help at this difficult time. We pray, Lord Jesus, for the doctors and the scientists trying to keep us all safe and trying to help those who have coronavirus. 
Will you bless them in their work? Give them wisdom and strength, we pray. We pray also for teachers, Lord, as all the schools go back tomorrow. Will you help the teachers as everyone comes back and we have to get used to school again? Will you help the teachers with their planning? Will you keep all our teachers well and healthy, we pray. And we pray that everyone enjoys being back at school. Amen. Great praying. Well done. Remember that you can talk to Jesus anytime you like and in any place. If there's ever anything that's good or bad, remember to tell Jesus. He loves to hear from you. Well done. Now, here's an activity that you might like to do with the rest of your family to help you and your family think about how God is always with you in the good times or the bad. Why don't you think of a family day that you've had together? Maybe when you went on an outing or maybe when you stayed at home. It doesn't have to be a special day, but write down the story of that day. Remember to be honest and write down if there's anything that's a bit messy or embarrassing. Don't miss those bits out. And then read over the story of that day together and think about how God was with you in every single bit of that day. And thank him where you had good times and praise him where he looked after you if there were bad times. Maybe you even want to share the story of your day with another family and get them to send you the story of their day. And you can look and see how God is in other people's families too. Sometimes it's really helpful to do little things like this to remind us that God is with us every day. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs>